Welcome back to another Saturday Night Stories with me. All right, um, New Year's Eve is is, uh, is a night that most come. Well, back in the day, actually, that was the one of the nights everybody went to work because they pay you double or triple. And now, as an old fuck, I don't like working New Year's Eve. So. I'm a young comic, like literally, when I say young, I, 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 had, I had started comedy and I couldn't stay in it for so I couldn't get enough gigs and I couldn't, main, I couldn't, I just quit and I was working in an oyster bar shucking oysters. And I got a call from a friend named Bob Baker and he says, hey, what are you doing New Year's Eve? And I said, I'm shucking oysters. And he goes, ah, that's funny, what club, what club is shucking oysters? And I said, Calico Jack's is the restaurant I'm working at. He's like, you're working in a restaurant? And I said, yeah. He's like, wait, you're shucking oysters? And I go, yeah. You're fucking Carrot Top. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just, yeah. And he's like, are you being serious? Are you kidding? I said, no, I'm shucking oysters. And he said, that's ridiculous. You have to take this gig, you're Carrot Top. And I said, I haven't worked Bob in over a year. I don't even know what I'm doing, especially to do it on New Year's Eve. How horrible would that be? So somehow he talked me into it, and I took the gig. It was in Fort Myers. It was called the Dr. Al's Comedy Club. It's funny already. A dentist owned it. Dr. Al, who's hilarious, not, um, books me. And of all people, my mom says, where, where, where are you performing at? Because uh, I told her, and I said, Fort Myers. And she goes, me and my, and my girlfriend are going to come up and watch. I'm like, oh, please don't. I haven't done comedy in over a year. Now I'm going to eat shit in front of my mom and her friend and not... To mention the whole club of people that are there to see a, a real comedy show. So I go up and I'm not even making this up. I'm like five minutes into the, sh the show or whatever it was back then. It was, I, I thought it was a show. I had all these, I had like, you know, 30 props and three were funny. So I start out with, you know, like one unfunny one just to get warmed up. And then I go to do like maybe a funny one to keep them attention and all of a sudden out of nowhere people are shooting um like like champagne cork like at me right so i'm like what the f and they're like and the whole audience is is shooting court and they're doing all these sirens and all this weird shit and i'm i look over at the the club the owner like what do i do and he's like you're good put on some music and just let's get drunk and my mom to this day said, do you remember that? She felt so bad. And I'm like, mom, it's fine. They, were, they weren't being mean to me. They were just, they just took over. They, they liked what I was doing. They just wanted to, they just wanted to have fun. So I, I, I just remember improvising. I remember when they were shooting corks, I couldn't realize at first what was coming at me. It's the worst thing in the world, by the way, if you're on stage and something's coming at you and you can't see with the spotlights. So I thought, oh, they're corks. So I just started going like this, like a football thing, so they could, and they were like, yeah, you scored. And it turned into the probably the funniest bit ever, and the club owner was so happy, and I got paid, and, and that literally got me back into comedy. And I never, I never quit again. Never shucked oysters, ever again. Not that that's not going to happen soon. I could be shucking oysters in the near future. We just don't know. God, I hope not. <laughs>